Welcome back to another day here in beautiful Pompeii. Kasalelia, I'm June Solomon reporting in from NBC, bringing you another official update on the venues our microgame Olympians will be competing on for the 8th Micronesian Games of this summer 2014. Before I go ahead with the updates, the Pompeii Public Health Services is taking every precaution necessary to inform the public about measles or in Pompeii, Somal Aska. After interviewing and confirming with two public health staff members who requested to be anonymous, they said that there were four out of five specimens that were tested positive in the Hawaii Public Health Laboratory. Pompeii is now the second state in the FSM after the state of Koshai to experience this outbreak. So just a precaution to anyone who is planning on visiting Pompeii, please make sure you have been immunized by taking the measles, mumps and rubella shot or the MMR shot. Keep in mind that the MMR shot takes about 8 days for the medication to take full effect. We will have more information on this measles outbreak on our next video update. Now getting back to what everyone is waiting for, the official venue update. The PIX track and field is where the opening, athletics and soccer competitions, and closing ceremonies will take place. The renovations are well underway. This week, Australian contractors are expected to arrive to apply the finishing touches to the track, according to architect Mr. Ryan Roki from Pompeii State's Office of Transportation and Infrastructure. And right next to the PIX track and field is a PIX gymnasium where it will host the volleyball tournaments. Roofing, flooring, and other renovations are still needed to be done. Mr. Roki is tirelessly on and off each venue making sure that they are up to speed with the tentative schedule they are following. As of today, Pompey's volleyball team, both men's and women's, are practicing at the Pompey State College of Micronesia Campus Gymnasium, led by head coach Joseph Gallen. Head coach Gallen is very confident in Pompey's volleyball team this year. There is one individual who stands out among most of the first-time microgame Olympians, and his name is Bennett Edmund. Hailing from Netch, this young volleyball star has a great potential and a good head start into his volleyball legacy. Driving a couple miles back and you will end up at the tennis courts and the swimming pool in Nanpepper. NBC was able to set foot on the last days before the turnover ceremony held by the Governor of Pompey State, the Honorable John Essa, and the Lieutenant Governor of Pompey State, the Honorable Marcelo Peterson. For those of you who don't know, Marcelo Peterson is the 2014 Microgames Preparation Coordinating Committee Chair. Today, the completion of the tennis courts is enough to give major energy boost to most of the fiercest tennis players that Micronesia has yet to offer. We managed to get a few words in an email from Pompey State's webmaster who was participating at the ceremony and also an NBC committee member, Mr. Harold Ocampo. Mr. Ocampo wrote saying, and I quote, Well, watching the governor and the lieutenant governor made me feel excited about the game. It felt like everybody had the look on their faces that said, Bring it on, Microgames. All the excitement had me feeling very confident about our very own athletes, Team Pompey. Even though most of the venues are yet to be completed, the ceremony symbolizes that we are progressively moving forward. End of quote. Words cannot express how much I agree with you, Mr. Ocampo. And just watching some of Pompey's tennis all-stars like Midian J.R. Nath and Dion June Nath, led by head coach Dr. Brian Isaac, I can already know where these guys are playing because of the many scuff marks left behind every acing serve. Taking a walk up to the swimming pool, you can see that there is really nothing much to say about this venue except that it is fully equipped and ready to handle our Aqua Olympians. We had an opportunity to ask this year's swimming competition manager, Conrad Kors, about the newly installed and fully operational second best system in the world. It is called the Championship Start System that they will be using during the Olympic events and this is what he had to say. Championship Start System, which is the state of the art system for Colorado, which is the second best stuff in the world next to the Omega timing that you see at the uh, Olympics. And then it runs all wirelessly on these watches, so when it starts, no one has to press a timer. It just all automatically starts. And then when it stops, they press the buttons, and it all feeds into the software through into the computer. And then I get, I get to see everything that's happening, and then the whole meet from the computer. So I'm just testing it to make sure it works for the, um, we have uh, three guys that have worked at the Olympics coming over. 
So I just wanted to make sure it worked for them. Yeah. Going back to the Spanish wall, here we see the venue is in full use day in and day out. This time we managed to capture a couple shots from Pompey's women's softball team. These ladies are constantly on the field practicing and making good use of the field. Light bulbs have been changed, scoreboard is up, and few more minor renovations are needed for this venue to be fully operational. Heading back out into the countryside to the venue that will host a majority of the Olympic competitions is the College of Micronesia National Campus Gymnasium. At the practice court is where table tennis, wrestling and weightlifting will take place and at the main court is where the basketball competition will take place. Minor renovations are still underway, but for this update we'll be looking into table tennis and basketball. Both these table tennis athletes have been practicing almost every day from 5 to 7 p.m. according to head coach Bernice Diopoulos. We managed to get a few clips of second time microgame Olympian who first debuted at the Palau Microgames in 2010, who also walked away with third place in the women's singles and second place in the women's doubles, Miss Elni Madaki and first time microgame Olympian Miss Misseline John. They are both student athletes, both hailing from Kapinga Village in Pohnpei and are attending the College of Micronesia. Big ups to you ladies and good luck in this year's microgames. This is the most exciting part of my day, touring the venues and arguably the most anticipated gaming event of the microgames, the basketball competition. We have returning all-stars and big names in Pompey's basketball community like Cassidy Shonuber, William Holly Jr. and up-and-coming Pompey stars like Lloyd Yamada, Michael Malarme, Jamie Saberna, Kelly Tobin and more. They practice two hours a day almost every day every week preparing for the microgames. The team is led by Pompey's former basketball all-stars, head coach Benjamin Benji Peterson and assistant coach Lotus Lachis Senares. After watching last night's basketball practice, I can only say that Pompey men's basketball team are solid this year. This is all the time we have for you now. For more information and updates, you can find us on our official website. Click on your search bar and type in www.microgames.fm or our webpage created by Pompey State Government in support of 8MGOC and MBC. If you have any questions in regards to the microgames, especially any media companies looking to get accredited in this summer's events, you can contact us through our website or call our hotline at 691-320-3266. Again, contact us on our website or call our hotline at 691-320-3266. This hotline is where any interested volunteers can call to find out how to volunteer. MPC is currently looking for media volunteers. If you are interested, again contact us on our website or call our hotline. Don't forget to like us on our Facebook page and follow us on our YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in to MPC for your official update on the upcoming 8th Microgames. I'm June Solomon. Until next time, Kasalelia.